We're going to come to standing towards the top of your mat. We're going to come into our Tadasana, our mountain pose. So we're going to bring our toes together, heels are about an inch apart, arms are down by your side, palms face towards the top of the mat. And let's begin with just closing the eyes. Start to soften your shoulders, soften your breath. And just beginning to notice all the sensations that are arising. Growing our inhales and exhales a little bit longer than before. Filling the belly, the ribs, and the chest with air with each breath in. And letting everything fall as you let the air all the way out. Beginning to step into the space of stillness. Beginning to step into the space of quiet. And beginning to find the present moment as we stand on our mat. On your next inhale, we're gonna roll the shoulders up towards the ears, and then exhale, relax them all the way down the back, following two more times. Inhale, roll the shoulders towards the ears. Exhale, relax them all the way down the back. One last time, inhale, roll the shoulders towards the ears. Exhale, relax them all the way down. So our shoulder blades are drawing in, our chest is open and lifted. Then moving the awareness down the body, start to draw your navel in towards the spine as you press the pelvis forward. So you're gonna feel an engagement in the lower abdominals and in the glutes. So we're gonna to start to heat up that Uddiyana Bandha and Mula Bandha, the energy locks in the abdomen. Notice what your breath is doing as you start to settle in there, feeling all the engagements here. Then guiding our awareness down the legs to the soles of the feet, you're gonna to begin to lift the toes, spread the toes really nice and wide, maybe start to rock forward and back between the balls and heels of the feet. And then once you find that perfect balance, start to spread, the, spread through the toe mounds and relax them back down towards the earth. So finding that Pada Bandha, the energy lock in the bottoms of the feet. We'll find just a few more breath here and then we will begin. More long breath. And we'll begin with three Surya Namaskar A's. So on your next inhale, reach the fingertips all the way up to the sky, gaze will lift. Exhale as you melt your heart forward, chest to the thighs, nose to the knees. Inhale, rise up, half fold, flat back. Exhale as we plant the hands, step or jump back to your high plank. And we're gonna take a vinyasa option to drop the knees, which I will do here. So we're gonna drop those knees, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, hug the elbows in, lower chest and chin towards the mat. Inhale, rise up, cobra, baby cobra, or up dog. Exhale, as you tuck the toes, send the hips up and back for our Ardha Mukha, downward facing dog. And we'll find five breath here. We got one, two, you can pedal out the feet, maybe shake the head yes and no. Three. Four. And five. Inhale as you bend the knees, take a look at the hands, step jump, walk or float all the way up towards the top of the mat. Ending in your half fold, nice long spine. Exhale, forward fold. And then inhale as you bend the knees, slowly roll it all the way up. One vertebra at a time, head will be the last thing to rise. Roll the shoulders back, find your samasthi to heat, equal standing. And we'll take Surya Namaskar, round two, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, half fold, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump back to your high plank, option to drop the knees, but we'll vinyasa from here.
Exhale, send the hips all the way up and back for our Ardha Mukha. Five breaths. One. Two. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears, spreading through the fingers. Three. Four. And five. Inhale as you bend the knees. Take a look at the hands. Step, jump, walk, or float. Inhale, rise. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale as we swan dive all the way up to standing, palms touch. Exhale, hands down by your side. Round three. Inhale, sweep the arms up, gaze lifts. Exhale, your chest to your thighs, nose to your knees, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rise, half fold, flat back, spine is long, belly is drawn in here. Exhale as we plant the hands, step or jump back. And we'll take our vinyasa. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Exhale, press the hips up and back for our Ardha Mukha. Five breath here. One. Two. Big, loud, noisy breath. Three. Four. And five. Inhale as you bend the knees. Take a look at the hands. Step, jump, walk, or float. Rise up, half fold, flat back. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale as you swan dive all the way up to standing, palms touch. Exhale, arms down by your side. Samasthi to key. So now we'll do three rounds of Surya Namaskar B. So step your toes together, heels about an inch apart. Inhale as you bend the knees, send the arms back and up to the sky. Utkatasana, chair pose. Belly draws in, press the pelvis forward. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump back to your high plank, Vinyasa. Exhale, all the way back to Ardha Mukha. On your next inhale, the right foot steps through the hands. Back heel drops down. Rise up, Virabhadrasana A, Warrior One. So hips are facing the top two corners of the mat. Exhale as you frame that front foot. Step back to your high plank, Wo Vinyasa. On your next inhale, the left foot steps through to the hands. Back heel drops down. Rise on up, Virabhadrasana A, Warrior One. Exhale, frame that front foot, step back to your high plank, Wo Vinyasa. Once in our Ardha Mukha, we hold for five breaths. One. Two. Spread the fingers wide, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Three. Gazes in towards your navel. Four. And five. Inhale as you bend the knees. Take a look at the hands. Step, jump, walk, or float all the way forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. Inhale as you bend the knees. Sweep the arms back and up to the sky for our Utkatasana chair pose. Exhale. Samasthi to heat. Round two. Inhale, bend the knees. Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale, rise. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Always an option to drop those knees here. <sighs> On your next inhale, the right foot steps through. Stamp it to the inside of that right hand. Inhale, reach the arms up, Virabhadrasana A. Exhale, frame that front foot, step back, take your vinyasa. Next inhale, left foot steps through to the hands, back heel drops, rise on up, Virabhadrasana A. Exhale, frame that front foot, step back, vinyasa. And we'll hold here for five breaths. One, two, 
You can continue to pedal out the feet, shake the head yes and no. Three. Four. And five. Inhale as you bend the knees, take a look at the hands, step, jump, walk, or float. Rise up. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Inhale as you bend the knees, send the arms back and up to the sky, Utkatasana. Exhale, Samasthi to heat, round three. Inhale, bend the knees, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump back to your high plank, find your vinyasa. Next inhalation, right foot steps through to the hands. Back heel drops down. Rise up, Virabhadrasana A. Right knee is stacked right on top of the ankle the entire time. Exhale as you frame that front foot. Step back to your high plank, Vinyasa. Next inhalation, left foot steps through to the hands. 90 degree angle with that left leg as you reach the arms up, Virabhadrasana A. Exhale, frame that front foot. Step back, we'll vinyasa from here. So keep the belly hugged in as you inhale, rock forward. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise, shoulders relax away from those ears. Exhale, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back. Downward facing dog, Ardha Mukha. Five breaths. Two, three, four, and five. Inhale as you bend the knees, take a look at the hands, step, jump, walk, or float. Up towards the top of the mat, rise up, half fold, flat back, spine is long, belly is drawn in. Exhale, melt forward, Uttanasana. Inhale as you bend the knees, send the arms back. And up to the sky, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, straighten the legs. Samasthi to heat. All right, we'll shake it out. Now I'm going to turn and face you guys, but you can stay facing towards the top of the mat. And the hardest part is over. <laughs> so from now, we're going to bring our feet about hip distance apart. Feet are going to be parallel. Inhale as you reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale as you hinge forward. Peace fingers are going to come towards those big toes. Then inhale as you grow your spine nice and long. Exhale as you tuck your chin to your chest. Melt the heart forward, coming into our Padabhustasana. One. Two. So our elbows are opening out to the side so we can keep folding forward. Three. Chest to thighs, nose to knee. Four. And five. Inhale as you slowly rise to your half fold flat back. You're gonna remove your hands, place them right in front of the feet. Then lift one foot up at a time. You're gonna slide the hands underneath the feet. So your palms are gonna be face up. You're stepping onto the palms. Your toes are gonna come towards your wrist crease. Then inhale, lengthen nice and long. Exhale as you tuck your chin to your chest and fold forward, coming into our Padahastasana, also known as Gorilla Pose. One, two, three, four, belly draws in, lift the hips towards the sky, and five. Inhale as you rise up halfway. Slide the hands out from underneath the feet. Rise up to your half fold flat back. Draw the hands to the hips. Use your belly to lift yourself all the way up to standing. And now I'm going to face back towards the top of the mat, which you guys should already be there. Keep your hands at your hips. Take a big step back with the right foot. And then we're going to shift the hips. So right toes are going to turn and face towards the back side of your mat. That left foot's going to be at that slight 45 degree angle. Inhale as you open your arms out to your T, reach forward, and then exhale, drop down into your trikonasana. So shoulders stack right on top of the wrist, gaze is lifted. One, two, three.
three. Try to use your core to hold yourself up. This bottom hand can rest to the inside of the calf, foot, or block, or book. Four. And five. Look down, draw your belly to spine. Use the core to lift all the way back up to standing. Keep those arms at T. We're just gonna flip the feet around. So left toes are now facing the top of the mat. Right foot's at that slight angle. Inhale as you reach forward. Exhale, drop down into your deepest trikonasana. Shoulders will stack, gaze will lift. One. Two. Three. Draw your belly in towards the spine. Open that right hip and shoulder. And five. Inhale as you look down. Exhale, use your core to lift all the way back to standing. Keep those arms at T, flip the feet back around. So we're gonna take our Trikonasana B. So inhale as you relax the shoulders down, lift that left arm up to the sky. Exhale as you hinge forward, that left hand's gonna come to the inside or outside of the right foot. Then inhale as you peel those right fingertips up to the sky and take your twist. One. Two. Three. four, five. Inhale as you look down. Exhale, slowly rise all the way back up. Relax your arms down by your side and then flip the feet back around to take that other side. We'll inhale, reach the right fingertips up. Exhale as you hinge forward. Right hand comes to the inside or outside of that left foot. Then inhale as you peel those left fingertips up to the sky and take your twist. One, Two, three, draw your belly in, use that core to help hold yourself up, four, and five, inhale as you look down, exhale, slowly rise all the way back up, we'll step forward, mountain pose, samasthitihi. And then bring the hands to the hips. Take a big step back with that right foot. Right toes turn and face towards the back of the mat. That left foot comes to that slight 45 degree angle. Inhale as you open your arms out to your T. Take a big bend in that right leg. Right knee is going to stack right on top of the ankle. Then we'll hinge forward. Right hand comes to the inside or outside of the right foot. I'm going to scoot back just a little bit. And then we'll inhale, lengthen those left fingertips out overhead. So the biceps coming in towards the ear. Palm is going to be face down. Lift your gaze towards that top hand. One, two, three, four, and five. Inhale as you look down. Exhale, slowly rise all the way up, straight in that front leg, switch the feet back around to take that other side. Bending into that left leg, knee stacks right on top of the ankle, you should be making a 90 degree angle with the legs. Hinge forward, that left hand comes to the inside or outside of the left foot. Outside if you want a deeper opening in that left shoulder. And then one inhale, peel those right fingertips out overhead, so biceps coming in towards the cheek, palm face down. Parsvokanasana, A, one, Two, three, feeling lots of length on that right side body, four, and five. Inhale as you look down, exhale, slowly rise all the way up. Straighten that front leg, flip the feet back around, we'll take our reverse. So we're gonna take a big bend into that right leg. Knee stacks right on top of the ankle. A lot of people have an easier time getting into this pose if they drop that back knee down. Um, and I'll instruct it this way because I think it will be a little bit more accessible to everyone that's on here. So you can drop that back knee down. Right knee is going to stack right on top of the ankle. We're going to take our revolve. So inhales, you lengthen the left arm up. Exhales, you twist towards the right. Left elbow is going to connect towards that outer right knee. You can either bring your hands in prayer or you can place the left hand down to the outside of the right foot and peel those right fingertips out overhead. So option to stay here with hands in prayer, knee down, or you can start to tuck those back toes, lift the hips up, and then plant that left foot on the mat. 
One, two, three, draw your belly in, use the core to twist deeper, four, and five, inhale as you look down, exhale, slowly rise all the way up, straighten that front leg, flip the feet back around, we're going to take a reverse on the other side. So big bend into that left knee. Maybe plant the right knee down to get deeper into the twist. Inhale as you reach the right fingertips up. Cross it over to the outer and left knee. Hands can either be in prayer or you can always reach the left arm out overhead as you bring the right fingertips down towards the earth. Option to tuck those back toes, lift the hips up, and then plant that right foot down towards the floor. One. Two. Three, try to plant that pinky toe side of the foot, the back right foot down to the earth. Four, and five, inhale as you look down, exhale, slowly rise all the way up, and we'll step forward, Tadasana Samastitihi. Then we'll bring our hands to the hips, take a big step back with that right foot, all ten toes are going to turn and face towards the right side of the mat. So we have our Prasarita series, which is my favorite part of the practice. You're going to keep your hands at your hips. Inhale as you grow your spine really nice and long. Exhale as you start to hinge forward with a nice flat back. Hands are going to come right underneath the shoulders and then start to walk the hands in line with the heels. So we're trying to make a 90 degree angle with those elbows. Tuck your chin to your chest and then pull the crown of the head down towards the earth. One. Two, three, four, and five. Inhale as you look up. Bring your hands right underneath the shoulders, half fold flat back. Draw your hands to your hips as you use the core to lift yourself all the way back to standing. Beautiful. Then we're going to keep the hands at the hips, so bring the palms behind you. So the palms are going to come right behind the hip bones, right on the sacrum. Draw your elbows in, so you're going to draw the shoulder blades in, try to open the chest. Inhale as you lengthen your spine nice and long. Exhale as you tuck your chin to your chest and fold forward, coming into our Prasarita B. One. Two. Try to keep those shoulder blades drawn in. Imagine that there is an imaginary energy tied around the elbows and pulling them in towards one another. Three. Four. Crown of the head comes down towards the earth. And five. Inhale as you slowly start to rise up to your half fold flat back. Draw the belly in even deeper and then rise all the way back to standing. You're going to keep your hands behind the low back, but send the arms out long. Interlace the fingers behind the low back. Inhale as you roll those shoulders back, lift and lengthen through the chest. Exhale as you tuck your chin to your chest, hinge forward. Let the arms open up past the head. The crown of the head comes down towards the earth. Prasarita C. One. Two. Three. four, and five. Inhale as you slowly start to rise, draw your belly and use the core to lift all the way back to standing. Once you're here, you can shake the arms out. And then we'll inhale, open your arms out to your T. Make sure your toes are turned in, heels are turned slightly out, feet are much wider than hip distance to take our final Prasarita D. So inhale, open those arms out to your T, lift and lengthen through your chest. Exhale, start to hinge forward. Peace fingers are going to come towards the big toes. Or you can bring your hands to the outsides of the calves, outside of the ankles, outside of the feet. I'm going to keep my peace fingers towards the big toes. Once you have your grasp, inhale, rise, half fold, flat back. Then exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, fold forward for our Prasarita D. You're trying to box out through the elbows, creating that 90 degree angle. One. Two. 
three, draw your belly in, use your biceps to pull yourself down, four, and five. Inhale as you slowly rise up to your half fold flat back. Bring the hands to the hips, use the core to lift yourself all the way back to standing. Then from here, we'll turn those left toes to turn and face the top of the mat. Take a big step forward. Mountain pose, Tadasana, Samsti Tahi. Then we'll bring the hands to the hips. This time taking a small step back with the right foot. All 10 toes are gonna turn and face towards the back of your mat. You want your hips to be square, so they're gonna face towards the back two corners of the mat here. Open your arms out to your T, turn the thumbs down, and then bring the hands behind the back. So you can either bring your fists together, you can just bring the palms together, or if you can come into your reverse Anjali Mudra, your reverse prayer, that's an option as well. So we're gonna take our pyramid pose. Inhale as you lengthen the spine really nice and long. Exhale as you tuck your chin to your chest, fold forward, chest to the thigh, nose to the knee. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale as you slowly rise with a nice flat back using that core. Keep the binds behind the back, but then flip the feet around to take that other side. So hips are gonna face towards the front two corners of the mat. Back foot's at that slight 45 degree angle. Left toes are facing towards the top. Inhale as you lengthen the spine nice and long. Exhale as you start to hinge forward and fold, coming into our pyramid pose. Chest to thigh, nose to knee. One. Two. If you ever feel like you need a little bit more stability, you can always plant the hands down on the mat. Four. And five. Inhale as you slowly rise with a nice flat back all the way back to standing. Release your arms down, shake it out, and we'll step all the way up to our mountain pose. <sighs> all right, we're almost done with our standing sequence. So I'm gonna turn and face this way, but you can just stay towards the top of your mat. We're gonna come into our balance pose, our tree pose. So you're gonna bring your feet about hip distance apart, hands towards the hips, draw your belly to spine and press the pelvis forward. So finding that engagement in the Mula Bandha and Uddiyana Bandha, once again, finding that engagement through the glutes. So hands are at the hips. Start to shift your weight into that left foot, bringing your right foot either to a kickstand, the inside of the calf, the inside of the thigh, or if you can do your full lotus, then you can take that as well in your tree. So your option here, once you feel stable, bring your hands to your heart center. We have five breath. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Inhale as you start to turn that right knee towards the front of the room. Extend the leg out, flex through the toes. We hold for five breaths. One, two, feel that quad muscle engage. Try to draw the hip in towards its socket. Four, and five. Release that right leg all the way down. Whoo, shake it out. And then bring your hands to your hips. Feet are going to be hip distance apart. We'll take that other side. So shifting your weight in towards your right foot. Left foot comes to a kickstand, inside of the calf, inside of the thigh. Or if you can take your full lotus on this side, that is an option as well. But no, every side's different. I can't do my full lotus on this side because I broke this left ankle, so I have to stay here. But whenever you feel nice and stable and grounded, bring your hands to your heart center. Five breath. One. Two, three, four, and five. Inhale as you turn that left knee towards the front. Extend the leg out, flex through the toes. Five breath here. One, two. Three, 
four, and five. Release it all the way down, shake it out. And I'm gonna turn and face back towards the top of your mat, but you should already be there. So we're gonna be in our mountain pose. Toes together, heels are an inch apart, arms down by your side. We'll take a vinyasa. Inhale, lengthen arms to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward and fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise up, half fold, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump back to your high plank. Take your Chaturanga Dandasana. And we'll hold this down dog, Ardha Mukha, for five breaths. Spread the fingers wide, one. Grip through the fingertips, two. Shoulders relax away from the ears, three. Tuck your chin to your chest, four. And five. Inhale as you bend the knees, take a look towards the hands, step, jump, walk, or float all the way towards the top of the mat. Inhale, rise up, half fold, flat back. Exhale, hinge forward and fold. Inhale as you bend the knees, sweep the arms back and then up to the sky for our Utkatasana chair pose. Gaze is lifted, belly draws in, press the pelvis forward, drop the hips low. One. Two. Three, four, five. Inhale as you straighten those legs. Exhale, hinge forward and fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or jump back to your high plank. Option to drop those knees once again. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, rise up, cobra, baby cobra, or up dog. Exhale as you tuck the toes. Send the hips up and back, downward dog. Then on your next breath in, step the right foot through to the hands, back heel drops. Rise on up for our Virabhadrasana A, warrior one. One. Two, our gaze is lifted, right knee is stacking right on top of the ankle. Three. Four, five. Inhale as you straighten that front leg, flip the feet around. We're taking our warrior one towards the other side. So bending deeply into that left knee, stack the knee on top of the ankle. Lift your gaze. One, two, three, four. Inhale as you straighten that front leg, open your arms to your T, open your hips towards the right side of the mat. Then we'll take a big bend into that left knee, left knee stacks right on top of the ankle, gaze over that left middle finger, Virabhadrasana B. One, two, draw your belly and press the hips forward, three, relax your shoulders from the ears, four, and five. Inhale as you straighten that front leg, flip the feet around, keep your arms at T. Big bend into that right knee, Virabhadrasana B towards the front. One, two, three, four, and five. Carve those arms down. We'll step all the way back to our high plank and take your version of the vinyasa option to drop the knees once again. Inhale forward. Exhale, hug elbows in, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, send the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. All right, so from here, we're gonna do a jump through to seated. So you're just gonna bend the knees, take a look at the hands, and then inhale as you bend those knees. And then hold as you exhale, shoot forward, cross the ankles, come on to your seat. We'll stretch the legs out long. I'm gonna turn and face back towards you guys so you can just see what I'm doing. So we're gonna glue the legs together, flex through the toes. Hands are gonna come right towards your hip bones. So hands come down towards the mat. 
Spread the fingers wide as you inhale, pressing the hands, relax the shoulders. Exhale as you tuck your chin to your chest and bow. One. Two. Three. Four. Keep flexing through those toes. And five. Inhale as you look up. Exhale, release. We're going to keep the legs glued together. Flex through the toes. Big breath in as you reach the arms towards the sky. Exhale as you hinge forward. Peace fingers come towards those big toes. Then inhale, grow your spine nice and long. Exhale as you tuck your chin to your chest. Chest comes all the way down to the thighs, nose to the knees. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release, but keep the feet or the hands towards the feet. We're going to take this a little deeper only if you have the space. So option to stay here if the hamstrings are really tight, or you can place the hands on the bottoms of the feet. Interlace those fingers. Relax your shoulders away from the ears as you grow your spine nice and long. Exhale to tuck your chin to your chest and fold forward. Five breath. One. Two. Three. Four. Flex back through those feet. And five, inhale, look up, exhale, release. <sighs> I'm gonna take a moment to take a sip of water very quickly. <sighs> All right, and then I'm gonna spin back towards the top of the mat, which you should already be there. We're either gonna take our reverse tabletop, or you can take the full variation of the pose. So the reverse tabletop, you're gonna bend through the knees, Plant your hands behind the hips. Fingertips are going to be facing in towards those hips. Feet are going to be hip distance apart. Hands are going to be about shoulder distance apart. So from here, you're either going to inhale, lift the hips up, making that reverse table. Or if you want to do the full variation, you're going to keep the legs out long. Draw those legs together, point through the toes. Big inhale as you bend through the arms. Exhale as you press in the hands. Everyone lift up, reverse table or full variation. One. Two, draw the belly and let the head hang. Three, four, and five. Lower the hips all the way back down. Whew, we'll shake it out. And now we'll jump through and take our vinyasa. So you're going to bend through those knees. I like to cross my ankles, hug the thighs and towards the chest. Bring, I like to bring my hands up. I don't have my full jump through yet, so this is how I teach it to um, my classes that I teach this class. So hug the belly in towards the chest. Hug those thighs in really nice and close. Big inhale. Exhale as you shoot forward. Jump back to your high plank, and we'll take a vinyasa. Once you're downward dog, you can jump all the way back through to your seat. And extend the legs out long. I'm going to turn and face back towards you guys so you can see. All right, so we're going to keep that right leg out long. Rotate yourself towards that right hip. Swing that left leg back around behind you. So your left heel is coming in towards your left hip. You're going to roll the calf out of your way so that you can drop the hips down towards the earth. If this is bothering your left knee, you can always wedge a towel, a blanket, or a book underneath those hip bones. We want to have about a fist distance in between both thighs. Inhale as you reach the arms up to the sky, flex through those right toes. Exhale as you hinge forward, chest to the thigh, nose to the knee. One. Two. Three, four, and five. 
five. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release. Roll onto that right hip as we send the left leg out long, switching sides. So rolling onto that left hip, sweep the right leg back behind. Heel is coming in towards your hip. Top of the foot comes down towards the earth. Roll that right calf out of your way and let the hips square down towards the mat. Flex the left toes back towards your face. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge forward, chest to thigh, nose to knee. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Inhale as you look up. Exhale, release. And then we'll switch or roll onto that left hip, lengthen the right leg out long, shake it out. And then we'll jump through and take our vinyasa. So I'm gonna spin back around. Inhale, hug the legs in. Exhale, shoot it forward. Take your vinyasa. Once in down dog, we jump all the way back through to our seat. Now for our Janu Sirsasana. Right leg's gonna be out long, left leg bends, bottom of the foot to the inside of the right thigh. Right toes flex back towards your face. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, melt forward and fold chest to thigh, nose to knee. One and two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale as you look up. Exhale, release, and switch sides. So left leg out long. Right leg bends bottom of the foot to the inside of your left thigh. Left toes flex back towards your face. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt your heart forward, chest to thigh, nose to knee. One. Two. Relax your shoulders away from the ears. Belly draws in towards the spine. Three. Four. And five. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release. Lengthen the right leg out long, shake it out. And now we jump through and take our vinyasa. Again, it's always an option to skip a vinyasa if you wanna just stay seated. You can also come into your boat pose if you wanna just chill for now. But I'm gonna jump through and take my vinyasa. So inhale, exhale. Once in down dog, jump all the way back through to your seat. I'm gonna spin and face towards you guys. All right, so now we have our marriage yasana. So right leg's gonna be out long, left leg bends, knees pointing up to the sky. Fist distance in between your foot and your thigh. Right toes flex back towards your face. Inhale, lengthen the left arm up. Hinge forward, left arm's gonna sweep around the front of this left shin. You can either just stay here and hang, you can grab onto the back of your shirt, or you can reach that right arm around, grab onto the fingertips, or grab onto your shirt tail. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. One. Two. Three. Keep flexing through those right toes and pressing that left foot down towards the earth. Four. And five. Inhale, look towards your toes. Exhale, release and rise to seated. Lengthen the left leg out long. Switching sides. We'll bend through the right knee. Knee points up to the sky. Fist distance in between your foot and your thigh. Then we'll inhale, reach the right arm up. Hinge forward, sweep the right arm back. Either stay here or if you can take that full bind, the left arm sweeps around. Reach for your fingertips or your shirt tail. Inhale as you hug this right thigh really close in towards your right side, lengthen. Exhale, melt forward. One. Two. Three. 
four and five. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release. Lengthen the right leg out long. We'll jump through and take a vinyasa, or you can chill here and breathe. Once in down dog, jump back through to your seat. Whew. All right. Mary Chiasana C. So right leg's out long. Left leg bends. Fist distance in between the foot and thigh. We're going to plant that left hand behind the hip. Inhale as you reach the right arm up. Cross the right arm to the outside of the left knee. Option to stay here. You can either also send those fingers up to the sky or you can take your full bind where you'll reach that right arm around the front of the knee and then sweep the left arm back behind you, grabbing onto the fingertips. Flex through those right toes wherever you are. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take your twist over that left shoulder. One. Two. Three. Try to grow your spine really nice and long so you can deepen your twist. Four. And five. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release. Lengthen the left leg out long. I like to shake it out in between sides. And then we'll switch. So left leg lengthens. Right leg bends. Right hand behind the hip as you inhale, lengthen the left arm up. Cross it over to the outside of the right leg, either keeping the fingertips reaching towards those left toes, or you can bend the elbow fingertips up to the sky, or if you have that full bind, reach the left arm around, reach the right arm around. Inhale, lengthen wherever you're at. Exhale, twist over that right shoulder, flexing through those left toes the entire time. One, two, three, Press really firmly into that right foot, four, and five. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release. Right legs out long, shake it out. And we'll jump through and take our vinyasa. Whew. Inhaling, rocking forward, shoulders past the ribs. Exhale, lower down 90 degrees. Ooh, inhale, rise. Exhale, send the hips up and back. On your next breath in, jump back through to your seat. Ooh. All right. So now we have our Navasana. We're going to take three rounds. In between each round, you're going to cross the ankles, plant the hands down, lift your hips up, and then set it back down. Shoot back into your Navasana. All right. So you have the option to either take this with your legs in tabletop, or you can take your full boat pose, your full Navasana. So grab lightly behind the thighs. Start to round back, draw your belly to spine. Inhale, lengthen the chest. You can either stay here and let your feet lift up. You can send the arms out long, or you can come into your full boat. I'm gonna hang out here. One, two, three, Keep the legs glued together, belly draws in, heart open, four, and five. Cross the ankles, set the hands down, lift your hips up, set it back down, round two. One, two, three, four, and five, cross the ankles, set the hands down, lift up, back down, last round, Navasana. One, two, three, four, and five, cross the ankles, lift your hips, and back down. And now we take a vinyasa from here. series. 
So we're going to roll all the way back down onto our spines. And we have the option, you can either take bridge or wheel. So if wheel is in your practice, you can go straight into that. However, I'm going to be instructing bridge for all of you who don't normally practice the modified half primary. So your feet are going to be about hip distance apart. Arms are going to be down by your side. Walk your heels in closely towards the base of the seat. Then draw the belly towards the spine. Press the low back in towards the floor. And on your next inhale, you're going to lift the hips straight up, keeping that engagement in the belly. So feel that wrapping of the abdominal muscles. One. Two. If you're in wheel, you can hang out there as well. Three. Four. And five. Slowly lower the hips all the way back down. And we normally take three rounds, but we'll just do the one for now just because this is not a traditional class. So then from here, you can hug the thighs in towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Maybe rock side to side. And then whenever you're ready, rock up to your seat and extend the legs out long. So a big inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge forward to your Paschimottanasana, chest to thighs, nose to knees. We'll take 10 breaths here. One. Two. Three. Relax your shoulders away from the ears. Four. Five. Six. Keep flexing your toes back towards your face. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Inhale, look up. Exhale, slowly rise. And then from here, send your arms out parallel to the legs. Draw your belly in as you inhale. Lengthen the spine nice and long. Exhale, start to roll all the way back down onto your mat. <sighs> arms will be down by your side. So from here, we're going to take our shoulder stand series. If you have any neck or shoulder injuries or if you have high blood pressure, I don't recommend going into shoulder stand. However, you can just take a legs up the wall, a supported legs up the wall. And to do that, you'll just send the legs straight up, making a 90 degree angle with the legs and the torso. Otherwise, if shoulder stand is in your practice, then you're gonna draw the belly in towards the spine. Bring your arms down by your side as you inhale, send the legs straight up. Then draw your belly in as you inhale, lift. Planting the hands behind the ribs, send the feet straight up to the sky, draw your elbows in. One, two, Three, four, and five. Slowly start to lower down. Using that core, we're going to use those abdominals to lower the hips all the way back down. Hug your thighs in towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Traditionally, we would go into plow after that. However, I don't have enough room behind me to go into our plow, so I'm just going to lower back down. <laughs> Keep those thighs hugged in towards the chest. Give yourself an extra long hug, an extra long rock side to side. Maybe making some circles. And then whenever you're ready, start to rock your way up to your seat. We'll spin those legs around. We're going to take child's pose for 10 breaths. So bring your feet together, knees wide. Drop your hips towards your heels. Lengthen the arms out long. Forehead comes down to the floor. 10 breath in child's pose. One, two, three, 